Hello everyone. For today's video I'm doing a little flower doodle. Now I have to say I'm not completely happy with this drawing, uh, but I thought I'd post it anyways because it did come out okay. Um, I'm just not 100% happy with it. Which happens sometimes when you are drawing, I guess. Um, my main unhappiness was with those little paisley things you can see down at the bottom. I actually ended up cutting those off creating another drawing and pasting it all together, which you'll see at the end of the video. So I thought for today I would answer the questions that you guys left on my last video, the little beta fish. Um, so I am going to go ahead and do that. So Rhonda Miller asked, uh, what is your favorite type of image to use for ZIAs? Uh, I like to use flowers a lot and I like to use anything with uh, flowing bits like the beta fishes fins and uh, people's hair things like that I think that's the most fun um, yeah sometimes I like using animals but um, sometimes that's kind of difficult for me so not always <laughs> uh, let's see Melissa Sherman asks where can uh, you find where do I find my 100 pound cardstock? Um, I get mine at Michael's and the one thing that I tell people is that if you're looking to start drawing on cardstock is to get the 60 pound paper first. It's a little cheaper um, and you will you pretty much get the same idea of how, it, how the 110 pound paper is going to work and if you're going to like it. Uh, because the 110 pound is about $20 for 100 pieces. So it's sort of mid-range in the cost, I think. Um, so you might want to start off with the 60 pound paper. And you're going to find that in the card making supplies, not the sketchbook thing. Not the sketchbook area of Michael's. Um, Bejeweled by B asked, uh, what is your favorite tangle? It's still anti-dots. It's been anti-dots for quite a while. Um, I'm not, I don't use it in this pattern or this drawing, but yeah. Uh, Holly Davis asked, do you listen to music while tangling? If so, what? Not usually. Um, I like to listen to books while I am drawing. I have my Kindle. I put it on text to speech and I listen to my favorite books. Lauren Moisio, sorry if I butchered that, asked, how many markers and pens combined do you have? And what is Allie's favorite Harry Potter book? Uh, as far as the markers go, uh, just in Sharpies I have over 300. Uh, I'm going to guess. I'm, I didn't go out and count them because I have so many, but I'm going to guess that all together for drawing pens, and for my markers, I'd have to have maybe around five or six hundred, I'm guessing. A lot. And Allie's favorite Harry Potter book is uh, the... Uh, it's Harry Potter 4, Goblet of Fire. And, okay. Karen Griffith asked if I've ever used a chalk pen on my doodles to create highlights. No, I have not. I would like to. I just haven't, um, you know, branched out and gotten that type of pen yet. Uh, Fiber Crazed asked, what is your favorite food and why? My favorite food is corned beef, cabbage, carrots, and potatoes. And I don't know why. It just tastes really good. <laughs> no emotional attachment to it. It's just my favorite meal. Um, Tangle Cat asked, what type of paper do I use so the markers don't bleed so much? That's 110 pound cardstock. Okay, the next question is from VC Coffee 68 She asked, why does it take so long to receive something from you? Uh, messages go unanswered and it's really frustrating. Um, <laughs> It depends what you're waiting for. If you're waiting for a message uh, and you message me on YouTube, I only check my YouTube inbox maybe once a week and I don't really check 
Facebook, my personal inbox very often at all. Uh, mainly because I get so much spam over there. I, I don't like checking it and sorting through it. So I do it maybe once a month. And if you're looking for an actual product for me, from me, um, sometimes I have to wait for my publisher, especially if it's a book or my DVDs, I have to wait for the publisher to um, send them to me. So sometimes that takes a long time to get it from the manufacturer. All right, just a couple more minutes left. Um, Linda McClellan asked, how do I know what tangle to go into next after one? And also, are all of my videos on fast forward? Most of them are, uh, because otherwise you'd be watching hours and hours of video and it would get quite boring. So yes, I think I've done one or two real time videos, um, but most of them are fast forward. Also, uh, I know how to go into one tangle to the next uh, where they look similar but different because I have been doing this for what three years now and I know pretty much all of the patterns uh, you know they're all stuck in my head so I have a pretty good idea of what patterns would look good together and it's all just a matter of practice uh, Sharon Carter asked if I could meet and have a conversation with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? I don't really have a raging urge to meet anyone, living or dead, um, but I did have a dream one time where I was having coffee with three of my favorite authors, Karen McQuestion, um, J.K. Rowling, and Stephanie Meyer, and we were all sitting at Dunkin' Donuts drinking coffee and eating muffins, and uh, so I, I think I'd like to have that dream come true. That would be awesome. Julia Wagner asked, what's my favorite color? And it is green, the same color as the little fish. And I think that is it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and like the final look of this uh, drawing uh, where I cut and pasted two together. And uh, I'll see you again on Monday.